Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to insert page numbers in Microsoft Word. Starting from any specific page in your document, it turns out it's a little bit complicated. So let's find out how we can do that. So this is my MS Word document and I want to insert or add page numbers here at the bottom of my document. And obviously, I don't want the page numbers on my title page or the cover page. I want them to start from the second page. So let's see how we can do that. Now to insert page numbers, you have to click on this insert tab. So just click on insert tab. And then here next to header footer, you'll find this option page number. So just click on it. And then from here, you can choose the position of the page number, whether you want it on the top, you want it on the bottom. And if you want it in the bottom, then on which side do you want it? You want it on the left side or on the middle or on the right side. I want it to be on the middle. So I'll just click here. Now the problem is the page number has been inserted on the title page or the cover page as well and uh, this is something which I don't want so let's see how we can take care of this problem now to do that you have to click on this header and footer tab and then you have to click here on this different first page now as soon as you click on that you can see that there is no page number on the first page which is the cover page or the title page and the page number is starting from the second page now the second problem is that the page number is starting from second and we want it to start from first now to take care of that i'll just select this page number and then here under this header and footer tab you can see we have this option for page number you can just click here and then you have to click on format page numbers now by default the page numbers start from one now if we make it to start from zero then this page number which was second will become one so let's click on ok and now you can see that the page number is starting from first on the second page so our title page has no page number and from the second page we have got the page number one and then two three and so on but still i have one problem the second page is a index page so i don't want a page number on my index page as well instead i want my page numbers to start from the introduction page from this third page i want the page numbers to start now if you want the page numbers to start from the second page then you can do the trick that I have showed right now but if you want the page numbers to start from the third page or any other specific page then we will have to get into a little bit deep and we will have to work with sections. So anyways let's change this setting back to the default one so I'll just make the format of page number to one make it ok and also we hit the page number for the title page so i'll just make it visible again and also let's remove the page number all right and then i'll just close this header and footer so now you can see that we have no page number it's as good as it was at the beginning so the trick that i have showed you is going to work only when the page number is going to start from the second page so now let's see how we can use the section breaks to start the numbering from a specific page in the document so to do that let's first of all show all the formattings of this document so i'll just click here now you can see all the formattings that we have on this page and what we want to do is we want to separate these two pages into a different section and then the rest of the pages into another section so that we can start the numbering from this section and then we can ignore the page numbering for these two pages in the first section so let's see how we can add the section first of all so i'll just click here at the bottom or at the last line of my index page and then you have to click here on layout now when you click on this layout you can see this option breaks you just click on that now if you click here on this page then 
you are going to add one page break which means uh, after this line any text that you have below it will be pushed to the new page but anyways we don't have any text on this page right now and we don't want a page break we want a section break which is this one we want a section break with a new page so i'll just click here and now you can see we have a section break as well as the text has been pushed to the next page so it's a next page section break and this is a blank line so i'll just get rid of this blank line from here so now you can see we have successfully broken up our document into two sections this is the first section where we have two pages that is the title page and the index page in the second section we have all the text or all the context of the document now the main advantage of doing this is that we can go ahead and modify the footer or the header or the page numbers of these two sections individually so which means if you make any change to one section it will not be the same for the first section now we are going to add page numbers to section 2 we will not add the page number to section 1 and we are going to start the page numbering from the section 2 and from the third page so what we have to do here is you can just double click here where the place of the footer is and it will open up the footer mode or you can directly click here on the insert tab and then you can click here on page number then you can choose the page number formatting according to your like so as you can see i have clicked on the page number and the page numbers have been inserted but wait a minute there's one problem the page numbers have been inserted to the first section as well you can see this is one this is two this is not something i wanted but the page numbers have been inserted now this is because of the reason we have this same as previous option selected so which means even if i try to write something here let's say i write page here so this will be written in the first section as well as you can see it from here so whatever i do in the section 2 this is the section 2 as you can read it from here and this was the section 1 so whatever i do with the section 2 it's going to be same for the section 1 it is because of the reason because this option is selected which is same as previous so let me first get rid of this text that i have written all right now we have to get rid of this option same as previous now to get rid of this you have to click on the header and footer tab that under this you can see we have previous next and then link to previous so now you have to click on this link to previous to toggle it off now once it is off you can see that this is the footer section 1 and this is footer section 2 and now we don't have that option same as previous which means if i make any kind of change here it will not be propagated to the first section so i have written page here and you can see it is not propagated or copied to the section 1 so now whatever changes that i do with the section 2 will not be copied here to section 1 so which is exactly what i wanted let me get rid of this text all right and now we can just get rid of this page number from the section one and it will not affect our page number on section two so i'll just delete it and you can see that in the section two the page numbers are there without any effect on them and also let me hide the formattings so now you can see we have the page numbers starting from one up till page 20 and we don't have any page number on the title page as well as the index page so we have added the page numbers from a specified page which is the page 3 and all the pages have been numbered accordingly but before finishing this video i just want to show a few more things like these two topics which is like conclusion and then references i want both of them to be into different pages so let's see how we can do that now to do that i will just click here on the last line before conclusion and then click here on layout tab now from here i will just click on breaks now if i click here which is page break then it is going to insert a new page and conclusion will start on a new page but 
it will not change the section which is exactly what i want i don't want to change the section because in the second section in which we are working right now we have all the text so here i just want to add a page break i don't want to change the section so i'll just click here on page and you can see this was 19 this is 20 conclusion has been pushed onto a new page let me get rid of this extra space all right now in the same way i want the references heading to be onto a new page so i'll just click here on the last line of the previous text and then i'll click here on breaks and then i'll just click on page break and you can see the references has been pushed onto a new page which is the 22nd page so i hope now it's more clear for you what is the difference between a page break and a section break in a section break we are creating different sections and we are dividing one document into different sections and we can apply different formattings page numbers margin header footer for different sections in different ways and by using page break we are just adding a new page within the same section so we are not dividing the section any further we are just adding more pages to the same section so no matter how many pages we add to the same section they all are going to get the same formattings the same page numbers header and footer and all other format settings that you have set so anyways let's not make this video too long and i hope i was able to explain you how to insert a page number in microsoft word from a specific page using two different ways if you like the video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this i'm going to see you in the next video thanks for watching